Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D printer filament spool holder, just like the one I have up there. Let's go. What's up everyone, this is Dustin here, and today I'm going to show you how I made my 3D printer spool holder. Um, it's not very hard to make, it um, doesn't require very many tools, it's about $5-10 dollars worth of material, um, depending on where you get it, and um, it works really really well for what it is. So anyway, these are the parts you're going to need. Um, for this I completely use PVC pipe, this is 3 quarter inch PVC pipe, um, half inch PVC pipe will work as well. It all depends on how wide the hole is for your um, spool. Mine happens to be um, about two inches or so, so anything smaller than that will work just fine. For the actual pipe itself, I bought a 10 foot section of it from uh, Lowe's. Um, it was about two dollars, something like that, and it was more than enough material that I needed. Um, so I have four pieces of three inch sections. I have two four inch sections, and I have one six inch section of the PVC pipe. Um, I have two T's for three quarter inch PVC pipe. I have two 90 degree elbows and I also have four um, end caps. You don't really need the end caps but um, it makes it look a little bit nicer. So anyway, let's see how we build this thing. So this thing is really really easy to make. Um, first off you can start with one of the T's and one of the three inch sections of PVC pipe and put it together. Cap it off with a cap. Do the same thing with the other side, three inch section and a cap, and you have one half of the base. Do the same thing with the other T, a three inch section, a three inch section, and ending with a cap. So now you have both bases essentially done. Now you take the four inch section, put it in the top of the T, do the same thing with the other side, and now you have this complete. Um, take the 90 degree elbow, put it in the top, do the same thing with the other side. Make sure that the 90 degree elbow is pointing perpendicular from the actual uh, base itself. Now take the 6 inch section and put it in the last two elbows. Just make sure everything's nice and squared up, and that's essentially all you need to make a very, very good spool holder. Um, if you want to put the actual spool on, you just take off one of the sides, take the spool, put it on, put it back in. You don't need to use PVC cement or anything for this, um, just the pressure itself will hold it together. It's not under any sort of pressure or any sort of uh, intense stress, so uh, the pressure fit is just fine. Um, as you can see, the spool will now roll free, really, freely as the extruder pulls it through. So if you're new to 3D printing, you may be thinking, oh, I don't need to make a spool holder. Well, if you have it laid down on its side like this behind the 3D printer or something like that, um, as it's pulling it out from the um, spool, it doesn't have anywhere to actually unwind correctly. So as it goes, it's going to pull it out more and more, and it's going to end up looking like a slinky or a spring. Um, this causes a lot of uh, problems with um, getting caught up on itself. It can get tangled and cause some snags in your print, um, which isn't good. Um, I used to, the first day I got my printer, I didn't have the spool holder, and that's what kept happening. So that's why I built the holder. So the only thing about this design is there is um, a lot of friction on this as the actual spool is rolling around it. Um, this piece of PVC pipe does not roll, so it's constantly experiencing some resistance. Um, one thing you can do to combat that is to use bearings. Now, if you have the same 3D printer kit as me, the Folger Tech Prusa i3, the kit actually did come with four of these um, small roller bearings. Um, these are the two that I didn't use that are still in the bag. Um, I believe the inside diameter of the hole is eight millimeter, um, something close to that. So you could use a uh, eight millimeter rod to put it through there and use the bearings that way. However, I didn't have that and I didn't want to go buy one, so this is what I did. This right here is how I use the bearings. Right here I have the two bearings that are pressure fit onto this uh, pencil. It's actually a mechanical pencil. I believe it's the um, Papermate Sharp Writer. It's uh, the yellow mechanical pencil, um, completely smooth. It looks almost like a regular pencil. 
Um, they're one of the best mechanical pencils I've ever used. I highly recommend them if you're into that kind of thing. Um, this happened to be the exact diameter for these bearings, so I just slip them right on. They're pressure fit, they don't move. Um, and then these are 3D printed adapters that I just made really quick um, in AutoCAD in order to adapt from this pencil up into the PVC pipe. Instead of using this piece, we don't need that. I have two little tiny sections, they're about an inch or so um, long. I just have these to go in here just so it's not a completely 3D printed adapter. Then I take um, one of the ends and it fits perfectly into here and then put the same thing in the other side. And now there's bearings. So now when you put the spool on it has a much nicer time rolling. It doesn't experience any sort of friction or at least minimal friction because it's bearings and um, it tends to get snagged a lot less than if it was just rolling on the actual PVC. So regardless of which kind you choose to use, um, they both work fantastically. Um, if you're brand new to 3D printing, this, um, just using the top part with the PVC pipe is going to work absolutely fine for you. Um, if you're more into building stuff, then the bearing design is a much better upgrade. Um, so that, that is how you can make your own 3D printer spool holder. Um, again, this isn't the only design in the world. There are plenty out there. You can look on Google, look on uh, Instructables.com. There are even 3D printable ones on Thingiverse. Um, so there's plenty of options out there. This is just a really simple and cheap one um, that you can do for under 5 or $10. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing a lot, of, uh, a lot more 3D printing videos. Also, if you're into music, if you're into pretty much anything, computer stuff, car stuff. Uh, I plan on doing a bunch of videos about that kind of stuff, so if you enjoy it, subscribe. Also like this video, comment if you have any questions, feel free to uh, send me a personal message and I'll be um, happy to get to you and help you out if you need any help. So anyway, until next time, see y'all later.